Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So here we are on final approach, attempting to figure out how much RAM you really need for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Is 16 gigabytes enough or do you really need 32? So let's find out. So a bit of background, my system is an AMD Ryzen 5600X with an Nvidia 3070 and the memory we're gonna be using in both the 16 and 32 gig configurations is DDR4 3600 CL16 memory from Corsair. Now it's important to note here that at Bristol, this is just the basic default airport that comes with the game and we're in an area that generally isn't too taxing. In this test, we're running at 1080p Ultra. So bringing in the side by side for 16 versus 32, you can see there's basically nothing in it. Weirdly, the 16 gig system um, seems to be doing slightly better, but I would put that down to run to run variants. I would say this is all within the margin of error. We can probably consider this a tie. However, move things up to 4K and things start to change. Important to note this is 4K running in DLSS with uh, performance mode, not native 4K unfortunately, my 3070, it just, it just can't handle native 4K. Um, now, average FPS hasn't really budged, um, but the lows are more stable with 32 gig of RAM. From my point of view, 30 frames per second is fine for flight sim, so long as it's stable and it's those annoying dips we're trying to get rid of, and it seems that 32 gig is helping in that instance. So, to recap, at a default airport, in a not too hard to run area of the sim at 1080p, there wasn't much in it. It took going to 4K, or albeit 4K with DLSS, to move the needle, but does that remain the case if we go to a big, hard to run area of the sim, maybe like a, a big airport like Gatwick from flightsim.to? Okay, so here we are on the ground, taxiing around in the PMDG 737-800 at 1080p medium this time. Um, and as you can see, we've already hit a massive dip on the uh, 16 gig version, already down to 3 FPS on the 0.1% lows. Um, also note how on the 32 gig version, over 20 gigabytes of RAM is being used up. So clearly the SIM can and does take advantage of the extra RAM. 4K with DLSS is a similar story, not loads in it, um, but the lows uh, are kept a little bit higher. And just for good measure, here we are in LA, uh, 1080p Ultra this time, and as you can see, it's the same old story. Average FPS, uh, not a lot in it, but the lows on the 32 gig system don't go quite as low. So, to conclude, 32 gigabytes isn't gonna take your SIM from, say, 30 FPS to 40 or 50 or 60 FPS. You're not going to get those kind of gains but what it will do is give you a more consistent frame rate smoothing out those dips especially in those harder to run areas even at 1080p medium on the ground in gatwick we saw how 32 gig of ram was helping out now this is also um, totally anecdotal but I, I feel it's worth mentioning so i originally started out with 16 gig of ram in my system and i ran 16 gig up to about april 2022 and if I did a long flight in the Airbus A320, I would use autopilot, I'd put the throttles into the climb gate, and then basically I just would not touch my throttles again until we were like 50 feet above the ground and it was time to bring them to idle. Almost always, the moment I touched those throttles, having not touched them for you know the duration of the flight, the sim would hang for a split second and go into 32 gig, got rid of this for the most part. Which again, thinking back on that, that kind of lines up with everything that we've seen so far in this video doesn't necessarily increase your FPS in any meaningful way, but it does make it smoother. It gets rid of those dips. Be sure to hit that like button. That really helps the channel a load and get subscribed and hit the bell if you haven't done already. We go live a few times a week, so we get to go flying for a few hours. It'd be great to have you along for that. But until next time, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.